All right, let's start question four. Bobby lives in India and wants to start his own takeaway business. His speciality is chicken biryani. All his ingredients will be bought in bulk. That makes sense, right? Bobby intends selling a plate of chicken biryani for 80 rupees. Rupees is the currency in India. Table four shows the estimated cost of ingredients used to make eight plates of chicken biryani. So not one, eight. So if you just need to remind yourself, do a little circle or use a highlighter. Right, so this is how much it's going to cost. This is the cost in RS. So be careful. Some students think this is rands, not rands, RS. Remember, look over there. They literally told you how they're going to represent rupees. So make sure that you're following through. Then it says, each plate of biryani will be packed in a disposable food container that costs this much. Okay, so just to let you know what biryani is, um, it's delicious. Right, biryani is a mixed rice dish made with spices, rice, and meat. If you haven't tried it, you should definitely Okay, and there's a picture. My picture does not look very good, but it's because my print is not very good, not because Brianna is not very good. Okay, so then use table four and the information above to answer the questions that follow. Determine, in rupees, the price of 520 grams of chicken, right? So here, it tells you one kg of chicken equals 200 rupees, right? So let's do a little bit of work. So we know that one kg right, is going to be 200 rupees. Okay, so let's convert this into grams first, right? So how many grams are there in a kg? You should know this, guys. Okay. Oh, I don't know why I put an S after that. Okay. So then now I'm basically going to say, well, what does one gram equal? So what have I done here? I've divided by a thousand. Okay, so do that on that side as well. Divide by a thousand. Okay. So I've gone from kgs, converted it to grams, then I said, okay, I just want to get one gram. How's one? How much does one gram of chicken cost? One gram of chicken is not going to go too far in feeding anyone. But so you just can say two hundred divided by a thousand, and you're going to say zero point two rupees. Okay, so that's the one gram, and that's how much it costs. But now the question asked for five twenty grams so we're going to say well how do we get one gram to 520 well we times it by 520 and therefore we have to do that on the other side as well All right so we have our cost there we times it by 520 and our cost is a hundred and four okay so your answer is it will cost me a hundred and four rupees okay if you can do it in a quicker way than this do that I just want to explain to you steps. So it's very important. The main step here was, or the, the key step was to convert the kgs into grams. And then it was just easier to work with. Okay. Let's move on to the next question. So it says, calculate the total cost to make and package a plate of chicken biryani. Okay. The total cost to make one plate, not eight plates, one plate. So let's add this all together. And then divided by eight, because that will tell us how much one plate is, right? So 200 plus 120 plus 10 plus 62. Where am I getting this from? Oh, 62, not six, right? Over there, that's all the costs. And then we're going to divide it by eight. Why? Because it told us that all those costs go towards making eight chicken biryani. So then you put that down, put that in there, get your answer, divide it by eight. My answer is 49 rupees, okay? Now, students are like, ah, oh, nah, it's fine. That's how much it is. No, we're not done yet, right? Because we talked about a plate. So we also need to include the disposable um, food container, right? So you have to say 49 plus 2.43, right? You should be able to do that in your head. But if you can't, that's also okay. Don't stress, right? 51.43 rupees. And that's how much it costs, right? So be careful here. It was five marks. Don't lose out on that mark because that mark was right there for you to add on the, the amount of the food container. Okay. And that's your final answer there. Let's move on to the next question. Bobby says that he can make more than 50% profit on one plate of chicken biryani. We're over here. Verify by showing all calculations if his claim is valid, right? Is his claim valid? Five marks. We need to work it out. Okay, so how much is he going to sell each of these plates for? Told us, 80, okay? So I have to say, okay, well, how much is his profit? His profit is going to be his income minus his expenses, which is going to be 80 minus 51.43. Okay, where did this come from? Over there. Okay, so we're going to say 80 minus, why did I put an answer? Because that was what my previous 51.43 was 
my answer for my previous calculation, right? I'm just also showing you some efficient techniques for when you are working quickly. Okay, so that's how much is profit wise. But it talked about percentage here, right? Percentage profit. So we have to convert this into percentage profit. So how do we do percentage profit? Well, we basically are going to put our profit, right, over our expenses. So we're going to say 28.57. What were our expenses? 51.43. And we're going to times by 100 because we want it to be a percentage, right? Don't put the percent in there. Put the percent as a unit after your answer. Okay. So we're going to put 28.57 over there. And then we're going to put 51. This is a 1, believe it or not. Um, 0.43 at the bottom, right? And then I'm going to times by 100 over there. And it is 55.55%, right? We, I'm just rounding it off to two decimals. Um, why is it 5.5? Five, five? Because my third decimal is 1, which is below 4, right? Um, or below 5. And therefore, I round it down. So now, what's important is it says here, verify by showing all calculations if his claim is valid. So now it is over 50%, but don't just leave it like that. You have to say, therefore, valid. You have to give a little conclusion, right? And you get a mark for that. So many students forget that. I don't want you to be one of those students. Okay, let's do the last question for this paper. I mean, not for this paper, for this video, and then we will move on. So it says the exchange rate between South African rands and Indian rupees on 3 March 2021 is given in table 5 below. Okay, so one rand is going to give me 4,83 da 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 Indian rupees, or one Indian rupee is only going to give me that much, that, that many sort of cents, not actually a rand, right? Um, so what's important to note here is you see that the South African rand is stronger, right, than the Indian rupee. So basically, you, with one rand, you get more rupees than you do when you have one rupee and looking at rands. Okay, so that's what we mean when we say a currency is stronger or weaker. Here, South African rand is stronger, rupee is weaker. So it says determine in rands the price of masala powder. Now, let's go up here. Masala powder was 10. Okay, so we are expecting that if it's 10 rupees, it's probably going to be fewer rands, right? Because the rand is stronger. So let's go and do that calculation. So we're going to say, okay, we know that one rupee gives me 0 0.206839 rand. So be careful with your little signs here so you know what's going on. Where did I get that from? Over here. So then we're going to say, okay, but how many is, is 10 rupee, right? How many rand is 10 rupee? What do we do to the one rupee? We times by 10. What you do to the other side? What you do to the one side? You do to the other so I'm going to say 0 0.206839 times it by 10. And then it's going to be 2.06839. But we have to write it in proper answer, right? Because remember, we can't with rounds. We can't have more than two decimals. Look at your third decimal. It's above five. So we're going to round up. So my answer is 2.07. And that is our answer done, right? And that's this video done. See you in the next one.